First of all, shout out to Mr. Telefront TV for having me, man. Nice, exclusive ass stuff, man. He got up in ATL, man. Nice, solid, man. I want to say shout out to FTC, man. Y'all the reason why I'm here today because of y'all. Shout out to everybody in ATL that pulled up the sneaker games. Shout out to Steven, shout out to Air, shout out to Ethan, man. Shout out to Fredo. You guys know who I'm talking about, man. Let's get it. I want to salute you, homie, you know, for, for building your own thing and doing your own thing, creating your own platform, your own website. I got one life to live out my dreams, and I'm giving this thing all I got. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I represent the culture. All right now, you're turning up on MrTalaferro.com, shawty. Yeah. All right. Afri Telefero, Mr. Telefero TV. We out here, Sneaker Games, Atlanta, Georgia. You know who I'm with. White team stand up, man. Shout out to my man, man, for having me on the set, man. We lit ATL, baby. All right, you gotta, you gotta take me back a little bit, cause you, you done had a lot of success, flight over the last calendar year. How did we get started with YouTube? How did we grow the channel? And how did we get to the point that we are right now? Right. Oh, man, it all started, honestly, man. I just didn't know what I really wanted to do, especially when I graduated high school. And I just didn't want to be those, that kid, you know, that, that typical kid that didn't know, living in their parents' house today, 28, 30. So I was just like, all right, I got to find something to do. So, you know, I started off working just little nine to five jobs. And then, you know what I'm saying, I found YouTube. I started off playing 2K and then it eventually branched over to like more in real life things such as vlogs, story times. And then I eventually transferred over to the reaction channel. And that blew up over the last year. And that's where I, you know, where I'm at right now. Yeah, the reaction channel for me is where I catch a lot of your content. I see, man, I, this is the first time I've ever asked a guy this, but I see your tongue out a lot. Is that is that your thing? Is that what they got it's the kids going for? Right? It's the signature, bro. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, how to do it, man. All right, so I want to get your opinion on a couple of things going on. You said 2K, come, uh, that's kind of how you got started. Right. NBA 2K18, are you impressed with what you've seen thus far? You might have a little inside information. Are you impressed or what you think about it thus far? So far, I think NBA 2K18 looks hugely, amazingly fire, bro. Like, I honestly think they've improved so much, but I still want to play the game and still want to get a feel for it to be before I quit, so jump, you know what I'm saying? Because they always have these patches in the end of the year, middle of the year, beginning of the year, if I said that backwards, you know what I'm saying? But they always end up ruining the game, and so I hope they avoid doing that this year, man. Like, now, I used to work at ESPN. You don't know that about Telefero, but you're learning that now. Yeah. I used to work at ESPN, so a lot's going on with the NBA right now. Right. Kyrie Irving yeah. wants out. He wants out. And I would love to get your opinion on it. Do you think it's a good decision, bad decision? Well, yeah, with it, Flight. Uh, no, it's 100% it's terrible, man. Like, not only is it going to ruin the Cavaliers franchise, LeBron is not going to be in the same, like, gear off and on switch this year. Like, I feel like this will literally ruin, like, the Cavs' chance to ruin the title, winning the title, any type of chance. If Kyrie just leaves, just like that. You see, Flight, I'm with you. I think it's a terrible decision, but I kind of respect it. He don't want to be under this legacy. It's kind of, that's what it is. That's tough, because, like, then who's LeBron going to go after? You know what I'm saying? I think LeBron Laker bound. Laker? That's controversial as heck, man. L.A.? You go there with Lonzo, if they can go get Paul George. You right. put them, you know, Brandon Ingram on rookie deals with Paul George and Ron, I think you got a contender. Oh, man. I don't know, man. That's overpowered. I don't think the NBA ain't even going to allow that to happen. They like, got to. What do you think about the Golden State Warriors? Golden State Warriors? All right. I feel like they're just right. I feel like, honestly, the reason why a lot of people – feel some type of way is because they literally have every slot like filled up in their in their lineup okay they got the starting five they got the bench and they even got the warmer like everything that's why people feel some type of way i don't think they're overpowered to be real with you like i've seen at least five to six hundred kids come up to you in the last 30 minutes for pictures talk to me about this man off the camera i asked you does it ever get old i meant that does it ever get old yeah. it's just a lot man it's you know these people want to take pictures they just want to show love and you know, we got, like, terrorist attacks happening around the country, but there's nothing violent going on about this. It's just kids coming together for snoo shoes and YouTubers, you know what I mean? Like, what do you think about all this and your success? And honestly, man, like, moments like these, like I live, these are the reasons why, you know what I'm saying, I'm up at night grinding the way I do because of moments like these, to see a smile on a kid's face, for them to fly or even to drive long miles to just, you know what I'm saying, meet somebody they have never met before, that stuff is humbling. And honestly, I really would never get tired of something like this. If anything, it's going to push me and flame more fuel for me to work even harder out of anything. So. so what's next for you? How do we take this to the next level? You 2K, are you involved in the game or something like that? 2K, um, NBA uh, 2K18, as far as I know, I want to at least, you know what I'm saying, branch off and, yeah, 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 
I want to at least on NBA 2K18, you know what I'm saying, be able to create another lane for me and to get back started on my uh, gaming channel. If a lot of people that don't know, when I first started YouTube, I had another channel named Flight, which was mainly gaming and a little bit of basketball, you know, on videos here and there, some story times. My reaction channel actually blew up and passed over that. I want to get more established in the 2K and gaming community as a whole for NBA 2K18. So that's the goal this year, in all honesty. Brother, I'm proud of your success, and I'm happy for us young black people doing it like this. Appreciate it, man. It means a lot.